Bam! I made a uh, Altoids 10 survival charger emergency anything phone USB charger thing. Um, this is my old phone. Um, and I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm just going to touch one of the terminals. They're not touching right now. And you can see. Charging. Then you let off of it. Low battery signal. Touch again. Charging. Take it off. There we go. So it's powered by two 9 volts. Um, see the LED light comes on when it's charging. And then take it off. LED light goes off. Um, yes, this thing took me freaking half an hour. 25 minutes, half hour out on my back porch. Um, I just took an Altoids tin. Um, cut the respective holes for the USB port and the LED. Um, the things you'll need is I used a punch or an awl to make the hole for the LED so it was round and uh, reamed it out. Um, I used my Leatherman Squirt PS4 or Leatherman Squirt, Leatherman Juice S2 um, to kind of make the hole a little more rectangular for the USB. Didn't really turn out. I'm probably going to bend it some more, make it fit tighter and better. Um, I'm going to need electrical tape. Any old electrical tape will do. Um, I got this for two fifty at Radio Shack. It's a five pack of these uh, these battery connectors. Pigtails. They come with wire on them so you don't need to buy wire. And I bought this. Um, that I want to try to integrate with this with maybe a three-way switch three-way toggle switch you know maybe mount this mount the solar panel to the top because they are pretty much the same size so that'd be cool to have a three-way switch where you can have the batteries hooked up and switch it between the batteries and when they start to die or it's not charging as fast switch over to that and just sit in the sun cool little emergency charger you know everyone's addicted to their phones nowadays um, but I've, a lot, I've seen a lot of videos where people just put one in there and I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna time together and put two in there it's just more power um, here let me attach both and maybe while I'm talking see how fast this thing charges Charging at 5%. Uh, that's one battery. Um, let's do the other one. Snap that on there. And I've seen them before where people leave them how I just had them. Where people leave the one terminal disconnected. And then it turns on when you close it. That means you always have to have it open. Or it'll always be on. Kind of weird. There, it's already at 6%. It's 1% in one minute. Yeah! Awesome. But yeah, look at that. Charging my phone. Charging pretty fast, it seems, so far. Um, but yeah, to show you how to make this, you literally just need an Altoids 10. Uh, one or two nine volts, the pigtails from Radio Shack, some electrical tape. You don't even need this stuff. I mean, if you have a freaking any type of knife or anything, you could, I'm sure you could make something adequate enough just to fit that. And I didn't tape it or glue it or anything. Look at that glare. I didn't tape it or glue it or anything. I just taped it, or I didn't glue it. I just taped it down. I've seen people like put a bunch of caulk in there and it just looks horrible but for the video I'll show you what exactly you need um, most people have three of these things in their car 
really simple thing. Man, I need a tripod. Someone donate me a tripod. Um, yeah, this is all you need. Is a, uh, out of a car charger. A car USB charger. What the hell is with the glare? A car USB charger. Uh, you just, you just get the, uh, circuit board out of it. And on the back, there's always going to be either this little metal, metal kind of loop type thing, or there's going to be a spring, and that is your positive. You want to hook all reds to that. However many, uh, however many batteries you're running, you want to hook all reds to that, and then you want to hook all blacks to somewhere on this casing here. This casing is your ground. So I ran mine, my black wires I ran, let's see if it'll focus, which of course it won't. Focus there for a second. Um, yeah, I just attached it to the casing. There's like a little tab, and I just uh, attached both black wires together. Attached both black wires together. Um, spliced them together, and then attached it to the casing. Just threw one of these little loops and tied it back around and twisted it. But uh, there, seven percent now. It's 2% in about 3 minutes. It's not that bad. Um, but yeah, I might make another video on adding the solar panel. I think that'd be pretty cool to have that option. Just have it on top. Maybe have like a like a felt case that Velcros around the solar panel so it don't get cracked or damaged or anything. Uh, one thing I think I'm also going to do is I'm going to line the whole inside with electrical tape. Just to, so nothing bumps against each other or anything. But, uh, <clears throat> and also at Radio Shack you can get different color LEDs. Uh, this is just the one that came with this circuit board. That's just red. Right there, you can get, Radio Shack sells all kind of colors and stuff. You can just snap that old one off and solder it on. But, uh, yeah. Half an hour and 250. This was like 250. I'm gonna say two dollars, and then whatever you have, um, you're probably already gonna have this. You're probably gonna have one of them. You're probably already gonna have something similar to that, and you're probably already gonna have that. So for five bucks, plus the Altoids, it's like a dollar, dollar fifty. The Altoids, but hell, just eat the whole tin. Get some fresh in your mouth. Eat the whole tin of mints and uh, have a sweet emergency phone charger when you're done. Pretty cool. Alright, I'll wrap this video up because I ramble my ass off like always. There's my dogs. That's Bobo. And that's Gunner. Gunner. That's Gunner. Father and son. We bred him and made him. But, um, so yeah, surprisingly they're not barking tonight. Let's see what's that. It's still at 7. Is it still on? Yeah. So, it charges decently fast. Doesn't get hot. Doesn't get real hot. From what I can feel. It's a little warm. I mean, the voltage is of 9 volts to 9 volts, and your car voltage, 12 volts, you know, isn't really going to match up with all the little resistors in there and stuff, so. It's not going to be a long term use, everyday type thing, obviously. But, uh,. If you want to protect your device, you might want to throw a little inline fuse in there, tie everything together, and then put a little inline fuse or a switch or something. Um, I would actually like I would like to do that anyway. Is I don't really like how it's hardwired, 
and these have to be unhooked in order for it to be off like that. Oh, low battery. Oh no, what am I going to do? Um, but yeah, I don't like how these have to be hooked to the batteries to work. And then in order to have it off and not running and being hot all the time, you got to undo that. So I'm thinking of getting a little toggle switch when I do the solar charger part of it and uh, tying everything together and running it through a switch and maybe throw a fuse in there too. Just because I'm like that. Um, oh, the one part came undone. I'll have to twist that back on. But yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, you need one of these. You need a beer. You can't be making it an emergency Altoids tin survival phone and device charger without a beer. Because you're probably going to be making it while you're off work. And why would you be a bit... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright. There it is, everybody. I said in my last video I'm going to make it. And 45 minutes later I made one. And I'm going to tweak it and make it pretty cool. Have a good one.